Hello and welcome to another episode of Geeksy Creator Central. I'm your host Arvind and right over there is Vikram Patan. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how to launch your podcast. It's a slightly um, complicated topic, but I'm hoping that by the time we're done with this session, you are going to be having everything that you need to know to launch your own podcast. Um, uh, all right. How tough is it going to be, man? Only about recording your voice. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right. So let's, let's dig in as to why you would actually want a podcast. As a creator, you have many, many different ways to reach out and build your audience. And based on my experience and based on uh, actual data that's available right on the internet, you can actually see that going after podcasts can be one of the best decisions that you can make. Number one, it's very, very easy to create. Like Vikram just said, all you have to do is just record your own voice, right? Gets as simple. I mean, nothing gets simpler than that. Beyond that, the way people consume podcasts is different than, let's say, the way they would consume a blog post or a video or a movie, right? It's, it's a more of a lean back medium. What I mean by that is, to watch a video, right? I have to be like like stuck on my phone or I have to be sitting in front of the computer and I have to be giving you my full attention. Whereas a podcast is something that I can listen to in the car, something that I can listen to when I'm cooking, something that I can listen to when, uh, you know, like, like I'm going out for a walk or something like that, right? It's, it's a it's a lean back medium. And as a result, what happens is that uh, it's more likely to get consumed. That's number one. Number two, and something that I have discovered based on the number of podcasts that I actually listen to, is that me as the creator, right? I, and, and you as the listener, or vice versa, you as the creator, me as the listener. What happens is when I'm listening to your podcast, I'm going to be involved. I'm going to be tuned in, right? So it, it feels a lot more personal. It's not as, uh, I mean, there are podcasts that are very, very polished and finished. I'm not, I'm not uh, taking any jabs at them, but there is like, when, when you're just listen, when you're listening to someone's voice, like for, let's say 30 minutes at a stretch and listening to that every single week, what happens is that there is a, there's a bond that develops, right? And you're going to be looking at different kinds of podcasts that are going to be coming up as well. Next thing, there's very, very little competition for podcasts. When I was just doing some research, there are about 8 lakh podcasts available on uh, iTunes or I, uh, Apple Podcasts, right? What that means is compared to every one podcast that exists, there are 750 blogs that are available or 29 YouTube channels. Okay, so that and, you, and, you, and you wonder why, right? I mean... This is a very good question. So, so here, there are a couple of reasons for this, right? Podcast has been around, like, I think since like 2004, like 15, 16 years, right? But what's been happening is that that technology hadn't like really, really developed um, for like, like in any, any noticeable or appreciable manner until like the past uh, five, six years or so. And the biggest thing that's happened for podcasts is, uh, you know, the phone, right? And people tend to... Uh, like have like a regular schedule, right? They would commute. Maybe they have a certain time when they're cooking, perhaps a certain time when they're working out. These are like staple things that are happening. But there are also things that require other, like, you know, full undivided attention. Now, for the longest time, people have been focused on developing video, this, that, and all sort of visual mediums, all sorts of mediums that require you to lean in and pay attention, right? But podcasts as such, the tech, right, is is is, is nobody has invested that much of tech in this, mainly because like, you know, uh, even today podcasts don't have a meaningful way of like, you know, commenting or, or interaction, right? There's, there's, that's not there. Uh, you don't have that kind of a discoverability uh, avenue. I mean, you have Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, a Stitcher, Anchor, Spotify. You have these different marketplaces, but that's it. Like, you know, you probably have like maybe like seven or eight hand, you know, a handful of places where podcasts can be discovered. Whereas YouTube is like the second biggest freaking search engine on the planet, right? So there's been a lot of uh, push towards video due to increases in bandwidth, but audio as a medium has been you know, left off on the site. It's been developing, it's been developing. I mean, you have some players such as like Libsyn and Blueberry and, and Anchor and Buzzsprout, all these guys coming in. And, you know, it's not been, well, it's not been gaining prominence until very, very recently. And especially when you look at these sort of numbers where it's like for every one podcast, like for, there have to be like 30 odd YouTube channels, right? That's how cluttered the market is for YouTube. That's how cluttered the market is for blogs. One podcast, equals 750 blog posts. That's, that's how cluttered the market is. And when you're looking at this, this is like the perfect time for you to like get started with podcasts. Another thing is podcasts, although they're just audio, they can very easily be repurposed into videos and text. And uh, in, this, in this session of uh, 
PXC Creator Central, what we're looking to do is quite simple, right? My, my goal is to help you figure out how is it that you can launch your own podcast? What are the steps that you need to take? And, uh, you know, it's to give you that, that, that base foundation, the, the fundamentals, if you will, so that you can go ahead and uh, develop your own podcasting journey from there. Uh, from time to time, I'm also going to be talking about my own journey in podcasting so that it'll help you understand. All right, what is podcasting all about, right? There, you need to look at many, many different things, but the first thing you want to look at is why are you actually doing this, right? You can do this to generate leads for your business, you can do this to have fun. For you as a creator, it could be for a, a way to build a strong connection with your following, right? They can Look, people could follow you on Twitter, on Instagram, whatnot. They'd give you the hearts. They'd give you the retweets. But there are very few things that are as powerful as a conversation that you can have with members of your audience, right? As, as nothing, there's nothing as powerful as people listening to your voice for 20, 30 minutes at an end. So that's, that's, that's a great thing. Personally, I am also looking to uh, drive home the point that if you're going to be doing this, you need to make sure that you, know, you are fully committed to doing this, right? If you're starting something just for the heck of it, just because it's a, let's say it makes sense for business, right? Or, or you have a certain goal in mind, that's good. That's gonna give you direction, but whichever option you choose, make sure that you are committed to such an action. And like I said, only thing is you're passionate about what you're talking about. And if you as a creator are already looking to make money from what you're doing, uh, from, from, from stuff that you love, if you're looking to monetize your audience, podcast is a very, very strong and powerful way for you to start developing that strong bond with your audience. If you don't have an audience at the moment, podcasting may not be the best idea for you. If you already have some sort of an audience, right? Like if you have like, let's say a hundred people on your email list, or, you know, you have some people who follow you on Insta, all of these things, you should definitely go ahead and milk it basically, right? You have to make sure you use this. Now, of course, one thing that that's really, really working in the favor of uh, podcasting is you don't need fancy lights. You don't need fancy software. You don't need to look um, uh, like, you know, like, like on top of your game every single day when you're recording, right? Because it's just audio. And I feel that, you know, that's, that, that's a big plus for me. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it would, it would work well for you as well. All right. And um, when, when you're going to be, um, starting out, right? When, when uh, you're going to be figuring out uh, how am I going to be doing with podcasting, right? What you want to be able to do is really, really focus on the name. Now, I, I know it sounds counterintuitive, right? But the more time you spend in this, right? Especially when you look at how Apple Podcasts actually uses this, what you realize is that this name is going to be like a little sentence fragment. If you remember high school grammar, right? And this sentence fragment should be able to communicate what you do, uh, how you're going to be doing it, what value you're going to be adding to other people. For example, I have something called the Arvind Sundar Show, interesting conversations with remarkable people, right? So that is the name of my podcast. Now, if that is the name of my podcast, it tells you exactly what it is, right? But you named it something else. Um, like Poly Loka? Yeah, the, the yeah. <laughs> there are a number of different ideas, right? So the other option I had for my naming my own podcast was Poly Loka, exploring interesting worlds with interesting people, right? So again, in my podcast, I have conversations with people about all sorts of obscure concepts, right? Like um, mushroom farming, to Dungeons and Dragons, to management principles from the Bhagavad Gita. So these are all things that I have a burning desire to learn more about. And I'm going to find like somebody who's really, really good at these things. I want to just ask questions and I'll ask them to guide me, show me around in their world. Right. So poly loca is like poly means many loca is like worlds. So many worlds, that sort of a thing. So again, whatever I do choose, whatever you choose as the name of your podcast, right. That's, that's, that's going to be kind of like giving you your true North where you need to go. Right. So if, if, if somebody asks you this very question, what is it all about? The time you, you know, the moment you say your name, uh, the name of your podcast, you should be able to communicate what it's all about. So when you're looking at uh, um, the, the podcast itself, right, there are many different ways that you can actually have your podcast done, right? And that's what's called as a format. Uh, the one that I'm going for is essentially an interview, something like what Vikram and I would be doing, right? I would ask him questions and he would, it's a conversation between two people. That's, that's a great way to go about doing this. Uh, then there is scripted nonfiction where it's essentially everybody's just uh, like 
narrating stuff based on you know what's happening based on research based on facts based on developments whatever the thing is you could actually script it all out it could you can think of it as you know even narrating your own audiobook perhaps you've written a book and you want to um, showcase chapters from that right that could be a podcast as well news recap <clears throat> highly topical um, very very high value in terms of getting read and if you have a certain angle it can always uh, work really really well <clears throat> educational podcast. My favorite is the TED Radio R, where you hear a whole bunch of different things. There's also Harvard Business Review. Um, there's also like you know, stuff you should know and how it works and all of these things, right? Where you're learning stuff from the podcast. And finally, you have uh, scripted fiction where you know you write out it's like audio dramas right i think it was there in the bbc um and you know you can listen to the sherlock holmes um radio dramas on the bbc website as well now when when we're talking about all of this right it's it's very tempting to choose like multiple i want to be doing this plus that plus that don't pick one and stick to it right the reason for it is it gives a certain level of consistency that is very very um which is very much appreciated by your audience so they know what to actually expect after that and there's also focus right a lot more focus in mm -hmm. terms of researching about your own topic without having to spread your net too wide yeah. and you're being a little more you know very conical if i may say so about your uh, yes yeah yeah, yeah. So, you know this reminds me of like shows such as uh Airtel super singer or uh the karan johar show right the moment you, the moment I say the big boss, right? The moment I say these things, you know exactly what to expect, right? So that's that's kind of how it works, you know. Like you know, and I hope your your show does become like super duper popular. But the moment you set that up, and people start talking about, it, they know exactly what uh, to expect. Yeah, I think one way of even looking at an analogy is to say, you know, interviewing somebody on. A radio show, for instance, mm -hmm. is akin to uh, you know doing a podcast and interviewing people. So if yeah. I'm listening to the radio when I'm driving and I'm tuned into some FM channel, there are typically some interviews or whatever happening, right? Some mm -hmm. phone conversations or interviews. Right. So if, even if you draw a parallel to doing like a like an interview show, it it appears as a radio thing, and you can always position it as a radio show as well, although it technically isn't a radio FM show. You know, but, I think that's a great way to think about it. Think of it as a radio show. And Vikram, you just gave me a couple more ideas that I can share. You know, for, for musicians, if you're just broadcasting your jam sessions, right? I mean, uh, that's, that's very, very valuable stuff. Uh, there is this artist called Akira the Dom, right? He creates uh, chill music, synth wave, uh, uh, you know, like, like he mixes in uh, speeches into his music and stuff like that. Really cool stuff. But he also, like you know, during the quarantine when it started, he started just, uh, just, just, just broadcasting his stuff. He did it on YouTube and live streaming and he's got his own shows and all that. But, you know, that's a great way to start where you just uh, you know, stream your practice sessions, right? Uh, even this other lady, um, Tash Sultana. I'm not sure if you know about her, plays like killer guitar. And that's that's a great way for you to start building your audience as well, right? People want to know who you are as a human. You, I mean, we have enough of the polished plastic personas that are available, but... Be real, yo. Be real. You be yes. you. And for coaches, you know, let's let's talk about for coaches, right? I mean, you spoke of a show. Uh, we can have like agony aunt kind of a thing. Maybe you just pick up like the biggest question your audience has and you just start exploding that, right? Maybe you even... I'm your shoulder. Huh? I'm your shoulder. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but yeah, sure. Totally. Um, right. So irrespective of which, which format that you're going for, right? A question will come up. How long should it be? Uh, a very crass example that I got in my early days in advertising was that uh, it should be like a mini skirt. I'm going to leave you to interpret that uh, the way you wish. But uh, the key idea is that you have to add value, right? You can cut off the fluff, um, but you, you just want to make sure that the quality of content that you're producing, right? It's not the quality of the production, the quality of the content, the value that you're adding is always at a superior level. And in terms of frequency, it's, it's, it's quite, quite uh, tempting to say that, oh yes, you know, it's, it's really good. I want to do this every day. It's a big challenge, okay? It's, it's a big challenge. It can get overwhelming really, really, really quickly. Personally, I recommend a weekly thing because, you know, then uh, what happens is that 
people can set aside that time. It's, it's, it's an established format that happens. People have a regular cadence to their lives that revolves around weeks. So you could do that fortnightly, monthly, all of that's an option. I think the best way to approach this is to look at how much uh, you can actually invest in terms of time. That even for this, this the Gixi Creator Central uh, webinars that we do, which is like a, a weekly thing, right? It's, it's, it's quite challenging because uh, Vikram and I, we have to get together, we have to plan to decide what is it that we're gonna be doing. And uh, hey Vikram, uh, from your, uh, considering your specific background, you know, like, uh, you know, let's bring in standups and project management and all of that together. Do you have any, any, any wisdom to add here? Just in terms of, uh, you know, preparing, I think you need to start with a topic. You need to understand which topic can work, maybe bounce off two to three different ideas and, you know, narrow down on a topic, a topic that you're very comfortable with inherently and a topic for which a lot of information is available, right? And during the lead up to the day on which you're going to have the podcast or the show like GCC, PC Creator Central, you do a little bit of research, you bring out your own experiences, you combine the two, you uh, get them into a space where it's looking meaty and uh, full and it finally becomes the end product. And now after that, you just wing it, right? For us, it's easy to just wing it because uh, we have this little jive that we can do on our own because this is not scripted at all, people. Not at all. So, I mean, we have a guideline so, that you see on screen, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we do this very much in an impromptu fashion. That's probably because of the kind of connection that we have as people. Mm -hmm. But um, outside of that, I think if you're going to even be doing a monologue, you can also do it impromptu. But that just depends on how much of comfort you have with that more. How well versed you are in that topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, sometimes I prefer scripts like a teleprompting yeah. script that uh, actually helps me yeah. out. And since you're doing a podcast, no one will even be looking at you. Yeah. Mm. So, so you, you basically need to just uh, look at something, but, and read it, but, uh, you know, still make it sound natural enough. Right. Uh, so that, that doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're reading off a piece of paper, but uh, that's something that can actually work to your advantage when you're doing a podcast as well, because you can actually script it. You can yeah. spend the time scripting the whole thing. Absolutely. You know, uh, I just, I just want to like point that again, like, see, you have scripted fiction, you have scripted uh, nonfiction, all of that. And it's a perfectly legitimate way to go. I mean, if you're doing something technical, if you're doing something that's important, you should definitely go ahead and do that. And Vikram, you brought in an interesting point about having a co-host right? Uh, I don't think we mentioned that specifically in this, but having a co-host can be quite uh, helpful. As oh, well. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, uh, sorry to cut you off, but no, uh, very, very, very simply put, you have another person to bounce off thoughts and ideas with. It becomes a conversation, right? It doesn't then have to look like it's formal. It becomes very informal. It's like having a tea side, roadside tea, chai conversation, or something like that, right? I mean, it, it becomes very easy to do. And then you have somebody else for support. Let's say if you screw up and if you don't make the point the way you're supposed to, the other person can sort of pick up the gauntlet from there and say, hey, you know what, it is, it is all okay. I'm, I'm just going to make it easy for you. So then you can actually make that jiving thing happen be between the two uh, people who are actually there on the show as co-hosts. So I think if you have two people, it's really good. If you yeah. have three or more people, two is a company, three is a crowd, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Four is a party. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I have heard shows with four people, you know, uh, there is the Fizzle show, uh, one of my all-time favorites. And uh, there's also a Critical Role podcast. There's Dungeons and Daddies. Again, uh, interesting podcasts, uh, which have, I think, upwards of five, six, seven, eight people as well. So uh, it is possible. It is possible. Again, it depends upon your level of comfort and what is it that you are trying to achieve. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the lesser number of heads, the easier it is to coordinate, the easier it is to get stuff going. But if you have a larger group of people, then it basically means that all of you are passionate very, very equally. You're all looking at the same direction. You're all completely aligned no one's feeling left out. All of those questions start coming into the picture, but it can be pulled off, right? But the simplest way to do it is to have lesser number of people to start with, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Do you do you, right? <laughs> That's there. Um, all right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Vikram. All right. So going on to how do we actually get started, right? So there are two ways, and I want to be very, very clear about that. The Whenever you start Googling nowadays, right, the first thing you're going to find is uh, go on Anchor. 
And I, I completely agree, right? It's, it's very, very easy to start out on Anchor. It's as simple as downloading an app on your phone and following the instructions on that, okay? If this is your chosen path, uh, just go ahead and make sure that you know you're listening to the rest of this uh, session as well. You know, watch the rest of this video simply because it's it's valuable because the stuff that you learn here is going to be applicable there as well. However, once you start building up your podcast listeners and all of that, you're going to be noticing that there will be certain challenges that you'll face, likely technical, right? You're not going to face it in the beginning, but eventually, once you start growing it, you realize that podcasts. Um, so the underlying technology behind podcasts is an RSS feed, okay? You don't need to know uh, too much of tech to know about this, but the thing is that feed is gonna be generated by your podcast hosting. Now, when you're going on Anchor, uh, the last I checked, you don't own your own feed, right? So that essentially means that you have a gatekeeper between you and your audience, right? You know that you can enable an RSS feed on Geeksy? Okay, this is freaking news to me and I'm working on Geeksy. So, <laughs> all right. So maybe maybe that's something that we can explore as well. The other option and the one that I recommend uh, based on my personal experience is you go ahead with something called Buzzsprout. Okay, now Buzzsprout, what it does is it is a website, a hosting provider, if you will, that essentially simplifies your whole process of uh, creating and hosting and distributing your podcast, right? Now, it's, it's again, if you go sign up on Buzzsprout, they have a free plan. They have a plan that starts at about, I think, $12 a month. And uh, they have like a whole host of other options depending upon what features you want and uh, what sort of... Uh, a duration, number of hours of content you're going to be uploading in a month and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's, it's very tempting to just go with Anchor and I highly recommend it if you're going to be just testing out the waters. But if you're getting serious about it, I would recommend that you give uh, Buzzsprout a, 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 you know, a definitely a, a serious consideration. There are other offers from, uh, say, websites such as Blueberry, from Libsyn and all of these places. I've done the research for you, and my personal recommendation is to go with Buzzsprout. Even on their website, right, they have some fantastic content that's going to help you understand how do you actually go set up, use their platform, and all of that. For the rest of this session, for the rest of uh, this, this episode of Kixi Creator Central, I'm going to be focusing on using Buzzsprout as a platform. Okay? Right. So... The main questions, you know, the, the, the main things that will jump to your head is, okay, so now that I know that I want to um, create a podcast, right, what is the stuff that I actually need? And I just thought it would be best to get it out of the way first. Software, you have, uh, you know, these are just three that I've used. Yeah, there are more. Audacity is uh, free, and I believe it's open source as well. GarageBand comes uh, with the mic, and Audition is a premium, uh, sorry, not with the mic, with a Mac. And uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just... Uh, you will multitasking that's the word i was looking for garage band comes with the mic it does come with a mic logo so the old one anyway moving on uh, there are other 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 options such as um let's say rogue amoebas software or uh, you know you have uh, hindenburg these are all different options you have squadcast that's going okay that's coming up as well so these are all different tools that you have right for windows and mac that you can look at now it's beyond the scope of this uh, Geeksy Creator Central episode to teach you how to edit audio. Uh, that's not something that we can do, but YouTube is your best friend. If you're willing to shell out about 300 bucks, there are some good courses on Udemy as well. Can... Yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal to edit audio, people. Yeah, sometimes as simple as just highlighting stuff and deleting, right? And, and then, of course, there are other techniques that you need to learn, but remember, you as a podcast creator, it's not your job to become a sound engineer right? The main thing that you're going to be doing as a part of a podcast is talking about a certain topic and then making sure it goes out in the wild, right? There are other online services as well. Auphonic.com can help your audio sound better. Zoom, the tool that we're using now, is very, very helpful for, you know, getting interviews and, you know, extracting audio from it and all of that. Squadcast is a paid option that you can look at again for creating lossless audio, right, um, for your podcasts. That's there as well. In terms of hardware, you can just use a, uh, this is the one that I have on me is a Jabra Evolve headset. Uh, you can probably see this thing pop up on my screen. That's the Scarlett 2i2 Insure SM58. But there are other um, microphones that you can use as well. Boya M1, I think it starts off at roughly 2,000 rupees. Yeah, uh, you can use simple Boyas. 
simple boy. <laughs> I would also recommend that you check out the Maono AU04 on uh, Amazon, right? Maono. It's about, I think it's about 6,000 rupees as of uh, 1st October 2020. And um, that's right. Yes, it is. Yeah. And, and it's, it's going to be a pretty uh, useful tool for us to have when it comes to recording. Now, the key rule that you want to remember is that you want to upgrade your equipment, your kit, as you grow. Now, now that we've spoken about what is it that you're going to be talking about, let's, let's talk about how is it that you will be recording your first episode, okay? Here's like literally a step-by-step -step thing that you can do, okay? First, write out an outline. It's highly inadvisable that you are going to be uh, just, 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 you know, improvising the entire show. Right? You definitely want key points to talk about. For me, I love using MindNote. You can use other mind mapping software to create your outline. Pen and paper also works fine. And then you want to figure out a recording time and place. If you're having guests, you want to you know, do a little bit of scheduling to figure out where that's going to be happening. You want to figure out the software. You want to do some dry runs. You want to make sure that when you're recording, you don't get like noise from outside and stuff like that. That's there. You always want to keep a water bottle real uh, close by because talking for a while can get thirsty. So, you know, and if you're recording, you can pause, drink some water, then do that again. Start your recording. There's, there's no better way to gain experience than to actually do the task. And once you're done editing, again, you can learn this very, very easily on YouTube. And if you want, you can add your intro music. Uh, Fiverr is a great choice. Uh, I think for about $5 US, you can actually get some uh, intro music samples. Personally, I've used them to design logos. I've used them to create music. And no, they're not paying me to say this. I'm just saying this because, hey, it makes sense. Once you have your file, you exp you know, once you're done with your editing, you're going to export your file and publish it onto Buzzsprout. Now, Buzzsprout Publishing, they have literally a step-by-step -step guide that you can follow to go ahead and publish. Uh, this is, it, it, it's, it's, that's it, right? Now, the, the biggest thing that you're probably going to be having difficulty with is um, this, the editing bit, because you're not sure how much you want to edit and how long it should be. Here's, uh, there, there's some, some good recommendations I have for you when it comes to editing your podcast. The other thing that you could have a challenge with is exporting your file and uh, publishing it onto Buzzsprout. Again, I have uh, inputs on that as well. When it comes to editing, highly recommend that you keep separate tracks for each speaker and a separate track for music, right? So that you can chop out and uh, play around with it as necessary. If you're going to be editing, I give uh, I would I would give it like two passes. In the first pass, you want to edit for the content, right? You want to make sure that you're cutting off all the rambling, you're cutting off all the unnecessary stuff. And then the second pass, you can remove the distractions, like are you uh, drinking water very very noisily or something like that. My personal preference, though, is to go for no edits. Uh, it's not because I'm lazy or something, though that could contribute to that. The bigger reason is I prefer. A, an, an aesthetic where it is raw, where it is unfiltered, right? So in that situation, I'm going to be saying, uh, you know what, I don't want to edit it. Uh, unless, of course, my guests, right, whoever they are, if they have some things that they want to be removed, then yes, I'm going to remove that. But beyond that, I'm not going to be doing any editing apart from adding that music and equalizing. Again, the thing that drives me is to focus on value. And if you're looking for some technical stuff, you always want to get your file in MP3s. And uh, if you don't know what these things are, 96 kbps for mono for spoken word and 192 kbps stereo for music, don't worry about it. Okay, you really don't want to know except that you want to create a file that is an MP3. Now, like with everything, there is going to be a learning curve and I don't want you to get discouraged. YouTube is going to be your best friend and you can always write to us, right? Uh, hello at kixi.in and I'm here, man. You know, this, this is kind of what I do, right? I'm here to help you succeed. So if you have any questions on this, go ahead and uh, share that. So if you're looking to launch, this is again, like, you know how we had, how you're going to create your episode. That's what we spoke about. Now, how are you actually going to be launching? Okay. First thing I want you to do is to register on Buzzsprout. Next thing, name your show. Now, when it comes to naming, remember what I said, right? Uh, Apple is going to be using, Apple and other podcast uh, directories are going to be using the name of your show to figure out if, uh, you know, what search queries do you rank for? So you want to know your keywords and all of that. But you want to be able to, the moment you say the name of your podcast, 
people should know what that is about, right? So uh, like I said, the Arvind Sundar show, uh, interesting conversations with remarkable people, that's gonna tell people exactly what it is, right? Uh, there is another one called Poly Loka that's slightly more, um, how do I say, it? slightly more abstract, but it's also a little bit more uh, interesting that uh, you know it, it does pop up. So you have to take that call. Next, write down your description. You wanna describe your show. If somebody had to ask you for a paragraph or two, tell me what is your show about? You should have something. Think of it like if they were to write about you in the newspaper or on a blog you know, or a part of a bio, what is the thing that you're gonna be writing about? And you wanna create artwork. That could be like the artwork for your show, your logo, whatever that is. You wanna create that. Again, you wanna define your keywords as well, right? So that every time you're looking to create content, every time you're trying to choose which category you're gonna be in or what should be the content of your episodes, you have a true north, a guiding bell that's gonna take you to where you wanna do. Create your episodes uh, using the process that I've just explained before and upload them to Buzzsprout. And that, after that, right, there is a whole bunch of stuff that you need to do. And this is like the really, really scary bit but Buzzsprout makes this like super duper easy. It's as simple as like clicking on a button and filling out the stuff that you created over here. You have all of this ready in a, in a text document. And then when you go to Buzzsprout, it's, it's going to be as simply as, you know, just filling in these details. Now I can't stress this enough. This is predominantly how you're gonna get found, right? Like, so when you go on Apple Podcasts or when you go on Google Podcasts or Spotify, right? This is how you're gonna be getting found, right? And, um, that's what podcast directories are. Like think of them as telephone books, right? If you're old enough to remember those. Uh, it's just a centralized place for people to discover new shows. That's what it is, to leave reviews, all of those things, right? And what you wanna be doing is before you go ahead and, and, and invest your time and effort into creating this, if you haven't ever heard a podcast, go ahead and check it out, right? Because there's no point in doing something if you don't listen to it. Personally, I listen to the Joe Rogan show. I listen to the Fizzle show. I, I listen to the um, to, to Cyber, right? All of these are uh, things that I like. Uh, you should figure out stuff that you like and then you know, understand what is the kind of stuff that you want to create. Then you got to figure out how is it that you want to launch? Like, like, do you want like a grand gala opening where you're telling everybody at the same time? Personally, I prefer the soft opening, like a slow burn where I'm slowly picking up more and more uh, listeners, right? Every single time that's happening. And of course, third time I'm stressing, your only rule should be to add value. Irrespective of what is the, 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 the reason why you're doing this, right? Like, like, I mean, we discussed this, right? Do you want to make leads for yourself? Do you want to be recognized as a thought leader? Do you have something very important to share? Or if you're just doing this for fun, whatever this thing is, you just have to do one thing, right? Which is to add value. Finally, we come down to marketing. So let's say that, you know, your podcast has gone live, you have a, a URL that you were ready to share. This is how you do it. Tell your friends, tell your family, put it up on your WhatsApp status message, put it up on Instagram, put it up on Reddit, put it up on Facebook, uh, message people on Facebook, right? Like if you are a group, if you're a member of a group where you have something, go ahead and do that. I'm a member of several groups that are uh, like, uh, I'm, I'm a, quite an active user on Reddit. So there's a couple of D&D &D groups that I'm a part of, subreddits that I'm a part of that you know, I'm gonna be tapping into. Posting on Quora, that's a great place. Getting featured on other blogs, that's an option as well. Sometimes these guys may require you to pay some money and um, contact other shows to feature you, right? If you've done something interesting and remarkable, get in touch with me, haha. -ha. <laughs> hey, um, Vikram, so, as somebody who doesn't have a podcast yet, right? That is you. Tell me something, any of these steps, uh, do they stand out as being too difficult or confusing so that I can- No, I, I, in fact, I think they feel very, very straightforward. Um, I, I just happened to be looking at Buzzsprout as well when you started talking about Buzzsprout and it seems very, very simple to use. And plus the free plan on Buzzsprout gives you two hours, right? Two of, hours. Uh, but I think it lasts for like 90 days or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep uh, your files on for 90 days. You don't get unlimited storage, but I believe you can still download and keep them on your local servers, right? So yeah, yeah you could, but uh, so here's the challenge with that, right? It's a great way to test out your podcast. Yeah. And first of all, thanks for doing that, Macha. Uh, but, but beyond that, right? I think uh, if you're going to be doing this, like, you know, for the long term, right? You definitely don't want to lose out. So you could start off with a free plan. So practically for three months, you can do this for free and then you could like upgrade. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. and also if you really want to monetize your 
uh, you know, your podcast, you can still run your podcast show on Geeksy and uh, you get your own RSS feed as a result. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, that's a brilliantly unplanned segue to what's actually next. <laughs> right. So uh, on your show itself, right? So you have a Geeksy profile, right? And your, your actual profile, like for example, um, mine would be geeksy.in slash uh, Epic Career Labs or geeksy.in slash Arvind, right? So that, that's, that's my profile, right? And when I'm going to be recording my own show, I'm going to be at the, at the end of the show or maybe in between, I'm going to be saying, hey, guys, uh, if you like this and you want to support me, go ahead to geeksy.in slash Arvin. And, you know, maybe you can subscribe um, for this, like, you know, become a premium subscriber and you get special benefits. Because, see, on Geeksy, we have that whole subscription thing, right? We have different tiers where you can um, get people to, uh, well, essentially subscribe to you for money. And uh, Vikram, why don't you just, just just describe how a podcaster might be able to use uh, subscriptions on Gixi? I I could do a bunch of different things, right? Uh, uh, let's say if I have a very basic subscription, I could say people uh, who pay me a basic subscription fee uh, at my bronze level could uh, get early access, first access to my podcast, and they won't be public until a little while later. Right? That's possible. Yeah. Uh, the second thing that I could do on top of that is to say, give me topics, uh, topics that uh, you yeah. send, I'll actually take as part of my podcast. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be number two. Number three could be, how do you go about running a podcasting business? What, what are the, you know, something that we did today, right? Something similar right. to what right. we did today. Yeah. And th those could be extended uh, over a period of time to give people more and more information about how a podcast actually runs. And I, want, I want to expand on that point and just say like maybe even stuff like uh, additional content like office hours or behind the scenes sort of. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Behind the scenes footage, office hours, uh, you know, bloopers, if you will, right? Uh, yeah. uh, things that uh, uh, have a bit of a funny twist to them, not available anywhere else. Oh, you know, you uh, know what else would be cool? Uh, yeah. If like, like, okay, let's, let's, uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm going to be recording the podcast at a certain time, right? But I'm going to be publishing it later. So I can actually get these people who are my own subscribers, my paying subscribers to like, I'll probably do like a live broadcast for them. Yeah. Then you're actually recording it, right? Yeah. So and I'm recording yeah. it. Right. Yeah. And, and maybe I could even get them to be a part of the podcast. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah that'd be pretty be, cool. Yeah. You could get that'd them to participate. Cool. Yeah. So at different levels of subscriptions, you could do so many different things. Yeah. Plus you get your own RSS feed. I don't know why I'm saying that so many times. You know what? We're going to have a complete episode where you just talk about, you just get it all out of your system. You just talk about RSS feeds. Yeah. We'll get in our tech head, Samir, to come in and talk about that as well. Uh, but the other thing, of course, right, is, is like the podcast itself, the show itself is a platform, right, which you can use to sell other things, right? Uh, uh, like, like, for example, if you have a show on, let's say, let's say you are a musician and, you know, you've been, you've been just jamming, but then you have a special album you can sell that via Gixi. Or if you have a concert, you can sell tickets to that via Gixi. Uh, if you have your own book, you can sell that book via Gixi. You know, you can, you can sell eBooks, uh, which can be consumed only on the app and stuff like that. Piracy protected, uh, DRM protected, I believe that's called. You can do all of that uh, via Gixi. Then apart from just, you know, selling your stuff, right? What you want to do is you want to use this platform that you're creating, this podcast that you're creating to essentially multiply your presence, right? And the best way to do that is you can tell someone like, hey, uh, you know, I, I've, I've done this particular topic and I want to get, uh, you know, I have an audience that, that's interested in this. And I've been talking about stuff that your audience might be interested in, right? So you, you use this to network and get in front of larger and newer audiences, right? So I think that's that's a great way. Once you got this comfort level, right? Like what uh, Vikram was saying earlier on, about going and knowing enough, you knowing your topic inside out that you can improvise, right? Improv. That that's what it's all about, right? If you can talk about it like for hours on end, because you know yourself really really well, then you should go ahead and spread your message. I think that's that's pretty important. And of course, one thing that I'm absolutely uh, uh, fanatic about is, is fanatic, sorry, fanatical about is uh, supporting every single creator that's there on Geeksy. So if you do have a podcast, 
right, that you've launched after watching this, or if you do have a show that you would like to get in front of uh, a bigger audience, tell us, you know, if it makes sense for us, we will definitely share that with the larger Gigsy community as well. Right? I mean, we have personal networks. I, there, there's nothing that would make me happy, happier than to endorse a, a worthy show. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's, why, that's why we're all here from Gixi, right? Uh, either through our own personal networks or through the Gixi platform itself. You'd be more than happy to feature and promote uh, each one of you as well. Great. So there you have it. I mean, that, that pretty much um, sums up, you know, how do you actually... Uh, launch your own podcast. Now, there were some technical things that we had discussed. There were some, um, you know, some, some things that were outside the scope, such as editing your audio file, right? And there were some things such as, uh, you know, you need to go onto the Buzzsprout platform or the Anchor app on your phone to go ahead and do it. But overall, this session, the idea behind this session was to give you enough content to get started with your podcasting, right? And then if you have any, any, any issues, right? Uh, you have three sources of information. One, speak to us, hello at geeksy.in. Two, YouTube is your friend. And three, uh, keep experimenting until stuff works. But again, more seriously, you know, just, just come back to us. We're more than happy to help. Great. Um, I see that we have Mr. Aurobindo here. Mr. Aurobindo, uh, first of all, thank you for joining us. Uh, for those of you who are watching, Mr. Aurobindo has written a book on the management principles from the Bhagavad Gita, and he's looking to start his own uh, podcast as well. Uh, sir, do you have any questions for us about Gixi, about podcasting? Uh, we are on camera, so you know, um, go ahead, let us know. Well, uh, I mean, uh, thank you. Thank you, Arvind. Uh, hey, uh, Vikram, uh, good evening. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Happy to be here. And uh, uh, I was looking for, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a platform or a channel to start off uh, on podcasting. And I was collecting some information. And uh, like uh, Arvind mentioned, uh, YouTube being the best friend. I started with that as well. So uh, this uh, kind of the mind map that I was looking at uh, has really uh, kind of opened up a lot of things uh, within me as well. So awesome. I'm thinking of that and uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, Buzzsprout. And uh, I was thinking of a name for my channel as well. A couple of options that I uh, jot, jotted down as you were speaking, Arvind. So mm -hmm. uh, let me see uh, where I land and uh, very soon. I'm curious, what are the uh, candidates for the name? Uh, one was uh, Arrow Talks. Okay. Uh, based on my name. Mm -hmm. um, that can be uh, like, you know, uh, I wanted it to be generic. Uh, mm -hmm. Rather than, you know, if I say uh, Gita or Bhagavad Gita or something like that, you know, that kind of becomes narrowed down. And okay. uh, I will not be able to add anything uh, other than that as well. Right. At the point of time, uh, probably it can uh, be repetitive or redundant or, you know, kind of like boring. Uh, so if I say Aro Talks, uh, I can include a wide range of topics, uh, management, spirituality, Bhagavad Gita, mm -hmm. uh, Indian traditions and culture, languages, uh, you name it, right? So, uh, like that, I wanted to start off and uh, kind of like uh, um, keeping in mind the uh, goldfish uh, attention spans of people these days uh, beyond eight seconds, right? So, I uh, uh, thought of making it uh, sh short, chewable uh, capsules, like uh, eight to ten minutes kind of a thing, uh, which can be downloaded and can be separately sent as an audio file as well uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, WhatsApp uh, and social media, number one. Number two make a standard stationary uh, you know uh, stationary image on a youtube and then put this voice in the background maybe you can uh, put it up on the youtube as well so a okay. uh, couple of options i'm thinking of but then again uh, how uh, much i will be able to take it forward i'll have to uh, uh, you know get uh, push myself and uh, arvind i will be coming back to you uh, absolutely sir more than happy to help you've been you've been a real good pusher <laughs> I've been fortunate to have met you, sir. Um, so in in fact, you... yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Victor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in fact, uh, Arvinda, sir, if you can actually look up, uh, you know, if you sign up as a creator on Geeksy, you actually get a bunch saw, of tidbits. I saw, I've seen, I've seen, I've gone through, yeah. I've gone through, Arvinda has been telling me about it. I've gone yeah. through uh, Geeksy, uh, creator and all. Uh, actually, he, uh, the way he started off was I seen as well. He started off uh, talking to me as, why don't you uh, sign up through us and you know, get the singing and all that. I uh, thought of exploring in that uh, sense. That was uh, maybe a year or more ago. Um, and uh, this epic uh, center labs that Arvind has been pushing about and uh, uh, octopus, something like that. Way of the octopus. I have yeah. a... <laughs> yeah. So, I've, been, I've, been following, I've been following that, but then I've not... Uh, I was uh, kind of in a dilemma as to do I sign up as... Uh, uh, 
uh, a singer or uh, something else and then uh, in this lockdown the book happened uh, the gita way of life on bhagavad gita last couple of months i spent a lot of time uh, in writing the book and i published the book and i sold also i have sold, sold more than 60 uh, books plus uh, quite a few on the uk italy and the us the kindle versions so now i have got a good grip in terms of uh, what i would like to be in terms of like you know uh, bhagavad gita and spirituality okay. in and fact it's fantastic uh, sorry I, i'm butting in a little but it's fantastic that you already have a book which means the book can actually be repurposed into audio files as well if you so yes, desire yes, right yes. Yeah? I, I, so. That, that's what i'm looking at uh, because because the thing is uh, i slowly started off uh, i mean i have not done anything but people have been coming and saying you know why don't you do a book reading session for this audience or in this club we have so many and i read a couple of passages that kind of helps me sell uh, that my book is on sale in amazon and people go and buy uh, i do that uh, but uh, converting that into ebook has definitely occurred to me i'm sorry the audio book uh, has definitely occurred to me um, but i was uh, more uh, not but but then again i was more uh, inclined towards uh, what arvind was telling uh, repeatedly as uh, add value right so if i kind of uh, read the whole book out uh, that will be uh, defeating my purpose of the sales of the book as well because people can download it and they can pass it on and so on and so forth so i want to add something more on top of that as well as a value uh, to see where it uh, stands probably i can take one aspect in from my book and kind of give a whole new perspective uh, on the uh, podcast and uh, that way um, both can run simultaneously people want to choose uh to subscribe to the podcast or uh, to choose to download the book on kindle or download the uh, order a hard copy uh, paperback uh, whichever way it works so thank you vikram thanks for the suggestion uh, no I no problem at all yeah no problem so there's definitely a lot more that you can do with the book as well and you know i'd be more than happy to help you figure out how podcasts and audio can definitely fit into that and you know one thing uh, i i think that would be like you know like actually like two points that i wanted to share with you one is uh, um when when you're trying to figure out what is it that you want to offer right and i know this because this whole thing about positioning yourself right like am i a singer am i a, an an author am i a spiritual uh, spiritual person i spiritualist my bad thank you right uh, it can it can be quite challenging uh, which is why i think you know a name such as auto talks would be quite beneficial right because then you have one constant and which is you right and then under you you probably have like multiple avatars travel like, travel humor spiritualism yeah. uh, family relationships uh, bhagavad gita management leadership i'm doing phd as well probably i can talk on wow. phd <laughs> Yeah and so uh, uh, some really famous podcasts along these lines would be the Tim Ferriss show uh, the Joe Rogan experience both of those are uh, quite interesting and quite uh, insightful as well when it comes to that and the second thing you know which you very astutely pointed out is that if you are creating something uh, let's say this this ebook or an audio book it's quite easy for it to get uh, pirated right and uh, that is oh yeah oh yeah in fact in fact that's a big deal because on geeksy you have uh, 100% of security when it comes to actually uploading audio books uh, nobody can download them they can only listen to them that's it can be consumed by the app them. but uh, th- uh, that aside the, the 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 other point that i wanted to tell you was um the value add that you're doing right so if it's just a book and you just put it over the yeah that's that's one way of doing it but beyond that what is that that extra so think of it as like um the, the 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 basic platform like this is the bare bones the book is the bare bones maybe if if they you know if they subscribe to you right on on a monthly basis uh for let's say about 100 rupees a month right if that's the thing if it's 100 rupees a month that they're subscribing for you for 100 rupees they're going to be getting one uh, monthly q and a session right maybe it could be like a special presentation that you're doing for just the 100 rupees subscribers right maybe that's something that they're giving maybe if they subscribe to you for 500 rupees a month right then maybe you'll be invited uh, you they all of them oh, i'm reset Uh, all of these people they can join you for a weekly office hours right so where you can uh, conduct like a special webinar answer their questions all of that maybe if there is a higher thing like let's say 3000 rupees a month you can probably do like custom coaching for them right so all of this stems from that base platform that you have which is that hey i have written this book about management principles from the bhagavad gita of course there is a whole lot more that you can do and uh, we'll we'll definitely connect about that uh, offline and i'll be more than happy to help you out sir Yeah thank you thank you very much that looking right. forward to that uh, so uh, let me see how it goes uh, i like the idea of uh, the name 
uh, in in your uh, you know mind map the name for the channel the episodes the description uh, the background music as an introduction i was thinking like wow i have downloaded quite a lot of uh, you know uh, copyright free uh, free music from uh, youtube uh, for various these things so uh, let me do some mixed match and yeah. identify the theme music uh, mm -hmm. so that you know when people hear that that kind of acts as a record yeah. as well so uh, that will work as well lot of lot of uh, team shows as well super so uh, i i will i will start off on that so uh, bus proud is it Do yes, so what's going to happen is uh, uh, for everybody who's watching this live as well as in the future, all of this content, including the recording of this session, will be shared on uh, email, right? Um, so we'll have reminders. I think you'll be getting three emails with links to this webinar as well. And you can always find it on uh, the Gixi resources section on the platform. So okay. that will always be available okay. as well as on the YouTube channel. All right. With that, I'm going to be stopping recording. I'm going to be seeing you again next week.